thinking of visiting Australia soon, whether you are dreaming of exploring the outback, hitting the stunning beaches, or visiting friends and family, knowing how long your visa will take is crucial. In today's video, we are diving deep into the Australia visa processing time for September 2024, including updates, trends, and tips to get your visa approved faster. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we keep you up to date on travel news, visa processes, and tips for hassle-free journeys. So, today we are discussing an important topic, Australia visa processing times as of September 2024. Whether you are applying for a tourist visa, student visa, or work visa, this update is for you. Australia offers a variety of visas depending on your reasons for travel. The most common ones include visitor visa, subclass 600 for tourists and short-term business travelers, working holiday visa, subclass 417, 462 for young travel travelers who want to work and explore Australia, student visa, subclass 500 for international students studying in Australia, temporary skill shortage visa, subclass 482 for skilled workers. Each visa type has a different processing time and in September 2024, we are seeing some key trends emerge. Let's break down the average processing times for the most popular visas as for this month. Visitor visa subclass 600. Processing time 20 to 35 days. Faster for low risk countries but longer if additional documentation is required. Working holiday visa, subclass 417 and 462. Processing time 35 to 55 days. Application have surged recently, so plan ahead if you are looking to work and travel. Student visa, subclass 500. Processing time, 6 to 8 weeks. Make sure you apply well before your course starts to avoid delays. Temporary skill shortage visa, subclass 482. Processing time, 4 to 9 weeks. This depends on whether you are applying for within Australia or overseas. Remember, these are average processing times. Each case is different and factors like incomplete applications or requests for additional documents can cause delays. So, what can impact how quickly your visa gets processed? Here are the top factors. Volume of application. With post-pandemic travel booming, Australian immigration offices are handling a higher number of applications. Popular visas like the working holiday visa are seeing a spike in demand. Accuracy of your application. Incomplete applications are one of the main reasons for delays. Double check that you have submitted all required documents. Security checks and health requirements. Some applications, particularly those from high-risk countries, require additional security checks and health assessments, which can add time. Peak travel seasons. Applying during peak travel times like the Australian summer, November to March may result in longer waiting periods. Now that we have covered the current processing time and what can affect them. Let's talk about how you can speed up the process. Here are some expert tips. Apply early. Don't wait until the last minute. Start your application well in advance of your planned travel date. Submit a complete application. Make sure all required documents are attached and meet the guidelines. Upload your medical reports, proof of funds, and any other necessary documents as soon as possible. Use the EMI account portal. Australia's immigration system allows you to track your application online. This makes it easier to see if any documents are missing and to respond quickly to any request for additional information. Check, checking processing time regularly. 
So stay up to date by checking the Australian Department of Home Affairs website for the latest processing time. Processing times can fluctuate based on the numbers of applications being submitted. Now, let's get into the special updates of, for September 2024. There are a few changes this month that you should be aware of. Priority processing for critical skills. The Australian government is prioritizing these applications for certain critical skill occupations, including healthcare and IT professionals. Student visa flexibility for students affected by delays. The government has introduced more flexible start dates for their studies. If your visa is delayed, you can now defer your course start date without penalty. Visitor visa extension. If you are in Australia on a visitor visa and unable to leave due to the unforeseen circumstances, you can apply for an extension without having to leave the country, which is great news for long-term visitors. Australia remains one of the most sought-after destinations for tourists, students, and workers. While visa processing times may vary, staying informed and prepared can make your application process smoother. We hope this video helped you plan your trip or move down under with ease. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more travel trips and visa updates. Also, feel free to drop your questions in the comment below. We'd love to help.